Hey everyone, it's Luke from WildPro. Today, I'm here with a new video for you, and this one's talking a little more in depth about plasma cutters. So here in front of me today, I have two models of our 40 amp cut series plasma cutter. One of which is the NH or the blowback start model. The other is the HSV or the high frequency start model. This is just a short video discussing whether or not you'll need high frequency start when purchasing a plasma cutter. These two machines I have in front of me today are very similar. Both have a 40 amp cutting capacity. Both use compressed air to operate. But there is one significant way that these two machines differ. It's the way in which they start their arc. The Cut 40 NH or the blowback series of plasma cutter is great for most applications and most materials. Both of these machines actually use a pilot arc. On the Cut 40 NH, the pilot arc is required to blast through any rust, corrosion, paint, or any contaminants that might be on the plate to make contact with the base material in order to establish the cutting arc. To understand more about the differences between these two plasma cutters, let's take a look at how a high frequency start operates. First, let's take a look at two models that we offer here at WeldPro. The first is the HSV model, which is a high frequency start. The second would be our blowback start, or the NH model. In the high frequency start model, we have the electrode and the nozzle. There's also a high frequency generator inside of the machine. The high frequency generator sends a high frequency pulse through the electrode and the nozzle into the workpiece. This helps to establish the pilot arc, which then establishes the full cutting arc through the plate. Alternatively, on the blowback model, there's a spring that's completing the circuit to keep the loop closed. When you apply air from the trigger, the spring blows back and opens the circuit slightly. This causes a spark that starts the arc for the pilot. The pilot arc then makes contact with the workpiece, grounding it out and making the full cutting arc. It's been said that on occasion, high frequency start can interfere with sensitive CNC electronics, but usually this isn't the case. The important thing to note is that both of these models have a pilot arc. Therefore, you're not required to touch the nozzle to the workpiece to establish the arc. The difference is simply in how the pilot arc is started. So how does this translate to you, the end user, when purchasing one of these models? Whether you prefer high frequency start or mechanical blowback start is purely user preference. I've personally used both of these plasma cutters to cut through painted material, rusty material, and even expanded metal. Both of these machines run extremely well. Hopefully understanding the difference between high frequency and blowback start will help you to make a more informed decision when purchasing a plasma cutter. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below and we'll get back to you right away. Thanks so much for tuning in. We can't wait to see what you all build with the Cut40 Plasma Cutters from WeldPro.